Good morning, Amy. Thank you for finding the time to talk with me today. It's a pleasure. I love talking about my art. So what would you like to know about? Well, for a start, uh, I'd like to find out how old you were when you began dancing. Well, you might find this hard to believe, but I started dance classes when I was just five years old. Oh my goodness. I was always dancing around the house, so my mum sent me to ballet classes. And then when did you decide that you wanted to become a professional dancer? When I was 10, I auditioned for some dance schools and I started training full time when I was 11. Mm. It was a boarding school, so I shared a dorm with 19 other dancers my age. Wow. Uh huh. It was great fun. And were you still able to study regular school subjects? Oh yes. It was a very full schedule. We would dance for six hours a day and then study maths and science for four or five hours. We even had dance classes on the weekend. But you know, when you love doing something, it doesn't seem like work. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and were you only studying classical ballet or did you have to learn different styles of dancing? Well, we did a little bit of everything. Modern, jazz, tap, you know, with the shoes with metal toes and heels, mm -hmm. traditional folk, mm. Russian. We took lots of music and theory classes too. And I guess you have to watch your weight all the time. Or do you sometimes treat yourself to a big slice of chocolate cake? Well, actually, my favorite snack is cream donuts. <laughs> oh my God, I love that too. Because I'm so active all the time, mm -hmm. I'm usually famished, mm. starving, and I can eat pretty much whatever I want. All this dancing takes a lot of energy. Mm. And if you don't mind my asking, do you make a decent living as a dancer? Well, this has been a good year for me. I'm doing a big show in London right now, and soon we'll be going on a world tour, so that pays pretty well. Mm -hmm. But I have to make sure that I save a fair bit of my salary, because I won't be able to be so physically active forever. Mm. So when do you think you might slow down and make a change of your career? Well, most dancers are past their prime in their late 30s. Mm and they move on to teaching or choreography by their 40s. I see. Well, thank you very much for giving us an idea of your life, Amy. I wish you all the best for your next tour. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>
So maybe a little classical ballet, a little funky hip hop sometimes, um, some modern jazz kind of dancing. Mm. Yeah, it depends on the music. I see, I see. It's interesting that you mentioned ballet because uh, when I was a small child, um, I'm a twin, I have a twin sister, and so uh, mm. when we were growing up, my mother wanted us to do certain activities together, and one of them was ballet. I and cannot imagine him doing ballet dance. Can you imagine that? Uh, I can't either. <laughs> Watch me do an arabesque, forget it, okay? <laughs> and um, so, my, my twin sister and I were actually in a ballet for Hansel and Gretel, and um, I was Hansel and my twin sister was Gretel, but uh, yeah. How cute. Did you enjoy that? I believe I did, but of course I think I would prefer to be playing baseball or something else out mm -hmm. on the street and, and ra rather than going to ballet, and I can't even remember how long uh, my sister and I did this for it was at least for a couple of years. Oh. Yeah, so uh, yeah, and then my my next exposure was actually when I was in the military. Mm -hmm. When I was in basic training, we had a, a roommate, and he was a tap dancer, wow. and so he showed us quite a few moves, uh, and it was quite interesting to watch that. I always liked that. And uh, now tap dancing is with the metal shoes. So it's all about the sound that your feet make on the floor. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, yeah. And um, so that's, that's one thing that's sort of stuck with me. And then I, I know in our classes we have um, a section on dancing and I try to show the students different types of dance because they probably haven't been exposed to it. They're quite a bit younger than we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to show them a riverboat and I try to show them uh, some some moves from the disco times, from Saturday Night Fever, and so on. So that was a great time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So mm. I think it's it's quite interesting for the students to see this and and how dance evolves. And people have pretty much their own style. I mean, mm -hmm. that's um, the great thing about yeah. dance. You can do whatever you like. It's it's an art. So it's about creation and. Art, art, in moving to the music. Right, right. Mm. It's almost like when, when you mention art, it's like um, when you're going to a museum and you look at it, and it's in the eye of the beholder, actually, right? right. So, yeah. and as long as you can feel confident about expressing your feelings through dance or something like that, and, and as I said, everybody's different. So, yeah. now you talk about feelings. How does dancing make you feel? Actually, I quite like it, um, but I, I know I'm not very good at it, and um, who cares, so huh? yeah, who who cares? And uh, so sometimes I'll put on a YouTube video and I'll try to dance along with it too. I can imagine that. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you. I think I don't know. <laughs> so maybe it's kind of a, a backhanded compliment, but at least I try, uh -huh. right? I try. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, I still think it's kind of fun to do, yeah. Yeah, I feel dancing gives you a special freedom, a special way to express maybe your feelings, mm -hmm. yes. Maybe if you're feeling very angry, you would want to do a very powerful, energetic dance. Mm -hmm. And it will give you a different energy. And so I, I feel dancing is fabulous for that. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting that you mentioned uh, uh, how to express uh, you're feeling through dance because uh, when we talk about body language mm -hmm. uh, and and dance you're not really you're not speaking but you are expressing some kind of movement right. and some kind of feeling and maybe some type of form of communication mm -hmm. through uh, body language through dancing yeah. mm, totally and of course most dance performances if you go to the opera or to the ballet or whatever then the whole performance is a story. And the dancers are telling the story using gestures, using body language. So after a while you'll learn there are different gestures to say you love someone or to give something or to say to dance, for example. And it is all a story of body mm -hmm. language. It's a story they're telling. Yeah, I think um, maybe when we were talking about the history of dance, I think maybe in the 60s or 70s, I think a lot of the dance troops were 
eliminating costumes mm -hmm. and uh, but that didn't go over too well because you just follow the dancers I mean it was kind of a, a bare, bare bones type of show mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's certainly much better to have costumes because you need the visual effect as well I think yeah. you need that interest yes that beauty that aesthetic mm -hmm. yes not just the body but also the costumes and the makeup and the scenery behind, perhaps. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, yeah. Now, you come from the States, right? Yes, yes. Now, when do Americans usually dance? I think um, when Americans will go out in the evening, they go to different clubs and things like that to listen to music. And of course, now you don't really see too much in the way of live bands. It's more DJs mm. uh, mixing music and things like that. So. Um, Although there are there are certain types of music, and I mean, if you go to a club where a DJ is playing a different type of music than what you're accustomed to or what you mm -hmm. like, maybe you're not going to enjoy dancing that much as well. But I think Americans can dance just about anywhere they feel like it, I suppose, right? So, right. Yeah. I know when I was in high school, we had, had something called sports night, and I think it was mm. uh, two Fridays out of a month. A uh, live band would come in, and um, we paid, I don't know, maybe 50 cents or something like that, and we got to dance from 7 to 10 o'clock at night. It was great. Sounds great, and it's yeah. great exercise. Yeah, super. You're having fun. The other thing is, you can dance with, you can dance on your own, you can dance with a partner, it can be romantic, or you can dance with a group of friends. Mm -hmm. And that's always a, also a great thing about dance as a sport, as a form of entertainment. You don't have to be in fixed groups. Over the night you can do different kinds of dancing mm -hmm. and interact differently with different friends. In England, um, the time when you would definitely dance is at a wedding. And so whenever I'm invited to weddings I get excited because I know there will be good music and beautiful dresses and lots of people dancing all night but also at a birthday party or sometimes if you just go around to a friend's house and they have a party, they'll put some music on and maybe after a few drinks, people will start dancing at around midnight and having fun. So dancing is a real part of my culture. Um, also my Arab culture, uh, my Arab family, there we would dance almost every day. If you go to a friend's house to drink tea or something, maybe they would put some music on and the ladies would start dancing together. So I enjoy dancing all the time like oh, that. Oh, that's great. That's mm. great. Yeah, I think dancing is a great outlet for uh, many different types of um, ways to express yourself and so on. I think it's, it's excellent like that, yeah. Mm. Just a last question. We often see women dancing and it's not so common to see men dancing. Now I know, I, I'm, I'm just wondering, how do you feel about a man dancing? If your son, for example, decided to become a dancer, how would you feel about that? Oh, I think that would be okay. I mean, I'm not the type of parent who's going to tell my son, you must do this. Uh, of course, we always hope that our offspring have better opportunities than we have, but mm -hmm. If my son chose to be a dancer, then by all means, and go for it. That's what I would tell him. Excellent. And I would support him every way possible. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, there you go. So let's go dance. Would you like to come dance with me? Oh, sure. Let's go. Off all right. Go. Very good. <laughs> Train. It's a verb. It means to be taught the skills needed to do something. An example of how to use this word in a sentence would be, I'm training to become a nurse. Audition. Verb. When a performer tries out for a role in a film or to join an art school, she auditioned for the starring role. Prime. It's a noun. 
This means the most active or successful time of a person's life. Young college graduates are in the prime of life. Ritual, noun, 典禮儀式. A formal ceremony or series of acts that is always performed in the same way. The priest will perform the religious ritual. Archaeology, noun, 考古学. a science that deals with past human life and activities by studying the bones, tools, etc. of ancient people. The archaeologists were working on an archaeological site that dated back thousands of years. Myth, noun, 神话. A story that was told in an ancient culture to explain a practice, belief, or natural occurrence. Creation myths are stories about how people and the world were first created. Imitate, verb. To do something the same way, to copy someone's or something's behavior, sound, appearance, etc. He's very good at imitating his father's voice. Choreography. Choreography. Noun. 编舞, 舞蹈设计. The art or job of deciding how dancers will move in a performance. The movements that are done by dancers in a performance. The show had excellent choreography. Stage. Noun. A raised platform in a theater or auditorium where the performers stand. The actors walked out onto the stage and into the spotlight. Contemporary. Contemporary. Adjective. Happening or beginning now or in recent times. The story is old, but it has importance to contemporary audiences. Revolution. Now. A sudden, extreme, or complete change in the way people live and work. The sexual revolution brought about a major change in people's attitudes about sex. Manifesto. Noun. A written statement of the beliefs or aims of a group of artists or a political party. Gilbert and George indicated that art should be related with life in their manifesto, What Our Art Means. Costume. Noun. The clothes that are worn by someone, such as an actor, who is trying to look like a different person or thing. The children were terrifying in their Halloween costumes. Expertise. Expertise. Noun. 专长, 专业知识. Special skill or knowledge. This question falls out, outside my area of expertise, which means this question is about something I don't know much about. Heal. Verb. To become or make healthy or well again. You've got to give the injury time to heal. Entertain. Verb. To perform for an audience. To provide amusement for someone by singing, acting, etc. Our father entertained us with stories. Mourn, verb. I don't. To feel or show great sadness because someone has died or to grieve. She is still mourning her husband who died last year. Carnival, noun. Jianyanhua. A festival held before Lent that includes music and dancing. Will you be in the town for the carnival this year? Extravagant. Adjective. 奢侈的, 过度的. 
more than is usual, very fancy, over the top. The film is famous for its extravagant settings and special effects. Barefoot, adjective. 赤脚的, without shoes. We walked barefoot in the stream. Professional, adjective. 职业的, person who's paid to participate in a sport or activity full time. He was such a good football player that he turned professional. Now for your vocabulary quiz. So question one. All the worlds are mm, and all the men and women merely players. This is a quote by William Shakespeare. Now what do you think the missing word is? A. Morn. B. Archaeology. C. Stage. Or D. Barefoot. I know, I know. <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, question number two. Many talk show hosts like to blank celebrities and make fun of them. You have a choice of four answers. A. Imitate. B. Expertise. C. Ritual. Or D. Audition. Okay, right. and that's the end of our vocabulary for the dance. Goodbye. Ciao.